Hello and welcome. Today we saw the first stage in the Pyrenees, stage eight of the 2020 Tour de France. This recap show is brought to you by Rafa. Alex Dita, what did we see today? It was a big day for the breakaway. Well, you know, it was. I, I had first thought that the, uh, the, the the teams going for the green jersey would hold it together before the sprint because it was still on the flats before the first big climb. But, you know, that there was one attack that tried to stick and then the second attack went and 13 guys drilled it and, and stayed away. You know, we had uh, Tom Scoins, Ilnar Zakarin, Soren Craig Anderson, uh, American Nielsen Paulus, Paulus from EF, uh, 13 guys. And they eventually got 14 minutes. <clears throat> yeah, 14 minutes, a huge gap. The GC riders, I think a lot of them were probably quite tired from the just <laughs> relentless day that they had yesterday in the crosswinds. You know, a, a, a mountain stage is not necessarily what anybody was looking forward to today. But the breakaway riders, they were opportunistic. They made the most of uh, the GC riders' tired legs. And they went out for a hitter. Ilner Zacharin. When I tuned in, I thought that he was going to be the clear winner. There was an HC climb. There was another very difficult climb before the descent to the finish. I, however, forgot that Ilner Zacharin, he can't really get himself down a hill that well. There's no excuse for it, really. You know, if, if you're a professional at this level, you had better be a good descender. I know Thibaut, Thibaut Pinot had that problem a number of years ago went to find a descending coach and worked on it. He went into a race car and figured out how to go, you know, take lines through corners. You know, Zacharin is, you know, is a good climber. He doesn't look great on a bike, but he can climb. But on those descents, you know, I, parts of that, that uh, second descent on the Porto Belez, he was on the brake hoods descending at 80 kilometers an hour. It's so unstable. I, I just wanted to reach through and grab his throat and shake him. It's just ugh, so frustrating. <laughs> Well, maybe you should be his descending coach. I, I, I don't know. I personally, I, I'm a fan of descending in my hood sometimes. Uh, but <laughs> Ilner Zachary, whatever the case, he, I, I don't know. I feel like I get a little bit more like fine tuned uh, control. I don't mind the hoods, but Ilner Zachary, whatever he's doing, it looks very dangerous, very ineffective. Yeah. He is not doing a good job of getting down a hill. And Alex, I think he's getting worse at it every year. We saw him at the Giro d'Italia. He had some wonderful rides at the Giro last year, but man, if there is a descent lying between him, uh, between the climb and his finish, <laughs> he's in trouble. He's not yeah. getting it. And it was Nantes Peters, the just incredibly strong young French rider for AG2R who had a brilliant win, absolutely brilliant, because he showed that he is you know, not the climber necessarily that Ilner Zacharin is, but the amount of energy that he saved by just taking that descent perfectly, it, that's how you win a Tour de France stage. Well, Zacharin was with him at the top of the Porta Belez, the second to last climb, and uh, Nance Peters dropped him on that descent and then just stayed away. Zacharin tried to claw back on the Perry Sword, but it just wasn't there. Uh, and then once he got to the top of Perry Sword, it was descent to the finish. And Peters, you know, he had the bit in his mouth, you know, a French win, Agé Désert, you know, gets a stage win. Like, wow. I mean, this is huge for cycling, especially on a day when, well, we're going to talk about it when Thibaut Pinot gets dropped. Yeah, a sad day for Tivo Pino, but wonderful day for Nantes Peters. This is a rider who is really uh, showing his class now in Grand Tour racing. In 2019, he had his breakout win on stage 17 of the Giro d'Italia, and it was under very similar circumstances. It was in the mountains, it was a breakaway, and he rode away from riders like Esteban Chavez. Chavez was second on the day, but Nantes Peters, he is just so strong and so determined. He can handle a variety of terrains that makes him a really, really capable breakaway rider. And he's only 26 years old. This is his second Grand Tour win. He seems to really be finding his legs. I'm excited to see what uh, becomes of him.